This is how I got the system the first time in April of 2018. It was the first time I knew something was up. Something was not like it was supposed to be and these cloud things should not be interrupting the sun the way they do and reflecting the way they do. Of course, my research went to chemtrails because that's what they push at you. But then I soon learned that these chemtrails were forming all over not only the country, repetitive forms, but around the world. So I knew it wasn't just clouds or chemtrails because clouds and chemtrails can't do repetitive shapes and you can't see the same exact shape cloud in Spain and in Virginia. And really in, in California, Virginia, you can't. And we were. So that's how we started telling that there was a system in our sky. And that's why I called it a system. Not because I was thinking it was a planetary system, because it was a system. It acted like a system. And then we started recognizing the pieces over and over and over again. And Hush Puppy actually helped me start naming the pieces. I, I came up with my dragon, but he started, you know, with the whip. Um, I, I think the whip I was calling the, the uh, my berserker. Um, so we have different names for these things, but you know, well, I go with whatever's familiar to everyone. Okay, so you can see the whip right there at the, se the seven o'clock of the sun. It's teeny. And then you see the fast mover, that's over the sun. Those ripply, puffy uh, line clouds that are in a line, one, two, three at least, There's usually four or five, actually seven. Um, but that's the fast mover. Now, is the fast mover actually the whip, just in a different form, showing a different way? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Okay, so anyway, we started seeing these pieces. And we started naming them and we started watching them go together and come together and go apart and make formations and go in a routine and pass by the sun at the same time every day. And then it'd be a gone three days. And then it's, that's why I know it's orbiting the sun because it disappears for two to three days because it goes up and around the back of the sun. Okay. So then I realized, no, this thing is not here to damage us or it already would have. I started to so people, uh, uh, Ernie, Green started sending me videos of uh, the system in um, old westerns he watches. So I knew it was here a while, so it wasn't going to hurt us. Yeah, so I'm like, I took the fear out of myself. See that blue line? That's my camera. Or whatever. <laughs> food. You normally think it's really food. Sweat. Okay. So I knew it wasn't going to hurt us. So then, um, that's, I started getting messages from the system and it's that it was here to help us, that it's here to protect us during this time. Um, something is happening with our sun. Uh, we all are sensing, oh, look at this to the left, that beautiful cloud. We all are sensing a pole shift. I don't think, I think the pole shift in earth has already happened. I think if there's going to be a pole shift, it's going to be within our sun or it's going to be within our nemesis. And I believe our nemesis is the planet that is behind the sun we never see. Einstein spoke of another planet. He said it was behind our sun in rotation so that we can never see it. Um, I believe that's what we're seeing, all the magnetic anomalies, everything um, that's affecting the sun. I think it's the planet that's unaccounted for on the backside of our sun. And I think this thing is doing a loop, creating a ring around our Goldilocks zone and sun, not only to protect us from whatever is going to happen with the sun and this other planet, um, that I do believe is, I don't want to say inhabited, not yet or the same way inhabited as us. But anyway, it's doing a ring around our sun and it, it's to, to protect us during this big time of change. Now this sun behind our sun, is that going to be new earth? Is it getting ready for us? 
possibility. Or is it something altogether different? Is it our nemesis? Is it the dark sun? Or is it just another planet trying to get along, man? But that's what I think we're dealing with. And that's how uh, my story kind of kind of has gone and involved and that's what I'm coming up with and you know everybody thinks Einstein just had one theory of relativity he had many and that was one of them and he was seeing um, the the light around sunset um, and sunrise and other times bend like the vid last video I just put out that light is clearly bending clearly as is this as is this um, so what was making that light um, coming from our sun bend when it was nothing between us and the sun. That was another planet in the back of it. That's what he came up with. Why we don't know about that, I don't know. I, I had to ask a friend of mine, he never got back to me, thank you very much. Um, I had to ask, ask a friend of mine, is if, it, if he knew about it, was it a Mandela effect kind of thing? You know, is, do other people know about that? I never heard of that. That's what I think be going on. And then um, my buddy Jeff has also got me into studying the, the bubble around our, um, our cosmos and around Earth. We have a bubble. So is this what we're seeing? This, this, this system or a system, maybe the Planet X system getting close enough where it's rubbing against, puncturing into that, that, that bubble, atmospheric bubble? I can't remember what it's called. Um, there's a lot to consider. It's just not being accounted for or spoken of, you know, other than by us. So if you guys want to look into that stuff on your own, do your own video, man, more power to you. <laughs> I got a lot on my plate too. Um, but that's what I was looking into. So it's worth looking into if you guys are intrigued. And thank my buddy Jeff for that. He's new to the community, but he's brilliant. So he's been helping me. Just things he's always wondered about. Those intrigued him, you know, that he's matching with, with my studies kind of thing. All right, guys, there's uh, the system over the sun. That is the fast mover. Now we see it over the sun but yet we still see it in the sun. Now, is that the outgassing thereof or is it another um, energy imprint? Um, and I'd also like to do um, a video that my friend Big B um, filmed. I'd like to do commentary on his video if he lets me because it's the system, um, the energy imprint of the system passing in front of the sun. It is. It's, it's not the system. It's the energy imprint. When it looks all electric. But I thought that'd be a good time to tell you more about the system in a different way. And then I'll try and do that. Tell you guys everything I know, man. I'm not holding anything back. I'm not, you know, I mean, I'm not going to throw everything at you all at once, but I'm not holding anything back, I think is important. Being, you know, deceitful. Just trying to explain things. And, you know, best way I know how. All right, bye guys. Talk to you later. <laughs> See ya.